Hey everyone, I am Nathaniel Lassau. I am the author of Steady For This, uh, which is the story of MC Growls, who is a, well, he starts off as quite a terrible MC, and um, he does a freestyle online, which is interrupted by his mum holding up his pooey underwear. <laughs> so suddenly his life changes, a, suddenly the laughing stuff was the school, his uh, MC partner Shanks, uh, falls ill um, and he's getting evicted and the only way to stop that eviction is by winning a rap competi competition called Raptology um, and he makes a new friend Siobhan who helps him along the way um, and yeah so I'm going to read you guys a short extract this is Growls and his new friend Siobhan playing a little game of Would You Rather <coughs> I sneezed in the last take, and so I have to do this all over again. <clears throat> Would you rather have one eye or be forced to raise a family of baby rats for the rest of your life, but they never grow old? She laughs like I made a joke, so I guess I have to laugh along too. That's so random. You're supposed to say something like, Would you rather have chips or nuggets? Yours is just strange. How is it strange? Just answer the question, fam. Okay, so my choices are basically between being a cyclops or having or being a surrogate mother to rodents, she says. After a sec, I tell her that if it helps, she can be a two-eyed cyclops. A two-eyed cyclops? So just a normal human being then? I choose that. No, your eyes would be one on top of the other. It would look really weird, but I guess it's handy for seeing over things. Hey, this is kind of fun. Well, in that case, I choose the rat. She's smiling, and it makes me tingly, like mint shower gel, but on the inside. She gives me her scenario. Would you rather have dinner with Queen Victoria or your great-great-granddad? Ha! That's a trick question, I answer. They're both dead, so neither of them will be able to eat anything. She looks baffled, and I tell her it's my turn again. Um, no, it's not your turn. Obviously, I meant for them to be alive in this hypothetical. Why would I ask you to choose between two corpses to have dinner with? I don't know, bruh, because you're bad at the game. Even if they were both alive, I didn't know my great-great-granddad, and Queen Victoria was bare boring. <laughs> All she did was name a train station after herself, and she wasn't even able to stop World War II. That's because she died about 40 years before it started. Or so she says. You can't test my history knowledge. I've been clued up. This one time, I asked my mum if she did history at school. When she said yes, I was confused. I know so what they talked about because nothing had happened yet. And um, yeah, that's steady for this. Um, anyway, I, I just uh, also want to say thank you for the um, the, the Sparks um, book award, um, the School Sparks book award. Um, thank you so much for, um, for for nominating Steady for this, um, and thank you to, to anyone who uh, for. Uh, it was a, a, a good decision to add it and um, I am I'm very, very, very grateful. So um, yeah, thank you everyone and um, I hope you enjoyed the book.